Oh. Yes, my friend, you are the one who made the comment, correct? As I understand. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. So you are the one who made this comment about Jesus being a racist? Yeah, I, I always had this particular doubt. Why. Can you speak louder a little bit, please? Uh, is it okay now? Yeah, I, you know, still a little bit low. You know, I, I'm sure we hear you. But it's not strong enough. Okay, so always you have a doubt about what? Yeah, like why did Jesus um, say this thing? Because uh, um, I, I always had this doubt. If someone is coming asking for help, I always thought, why did he say that? And it's not in just one place. Uh, there is uh, some other places also. He he says okay don't go to the gentiles go only to the jews mm. so when you know giving blessings or salvation he again and again makes that distinction okay i want to ask you if you uh you work you work and you make money mm -hmm. do you go in the street give your money to everybody or you give it only to your children Yeah, of course, only to your children. Why? Um, because they are near to you. They are what? You. I mean, because you have a limited supply. If you have a lot of money, then okay. you can give everyone. But All right. If you have but why you favor your children? Are you racist? Mm, no, but... But you just favor your children. You must be racist. Because you have limited supply, and now what you do, you choose a group of a human above other groups. Because this is what racism is about, according to you. He did not say to but them, he said to them, don't go to the Gentile, go to the Jews. So, okay, here we go. You, you give the money to your wife, you say to her, don't give the money to the children in the street, even if they are homeless, give it to our children, buy food for them. Why? Because you favor your, why you favor your children? Give me a reason. Um, because they are your own. They are what? Because they are your own. They are what? Because they are your own blood. Okay, so now you, here we go. You are racist again. So now you go by blood. You don't go by rational, by righteousness. You don't go by right and wrong, but you go by blood. Now, Jesus, who is the one who believe in him? The Jews. The Jews are waiting for the Messiah. It's not the Canaanite. It's not anyone else. It's not even my people. Nobody is waiting for him. The only one is waiting for him. The one who is waiting for the Messiah to come is the Jews. So now in this stage, I will speak to the Jews now. And later we will see that Jesus, he sent his disciples and even he made a miracle. He made them speak many languages. So how come you did not see that, but you saw this? Okay. Same time. No, hold on. Same time. When you did read Matthew 15, and you said 15, 21, did you read the rest of the verses or you stop there or you are copying from a website? Uh, no, 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 I'm not copying. So did you read, the, did, you re, did, you, did you read to the end? Because you mentioned to me 28, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what yeah, happened, because, what happened in verse number, these, what happened? The story of Canaanite woman ends, that's why. Otherwise, okay, what happened, what happened, happened, what happened in the end of the movie? Let's say this is a movie. And now Jesus is being racist in this movie. What happened in this movie? Did the women get blessed by Jesus or Jesus? He called her dog. He pushed her away. He said, get her out of here. Or he did what she want. And he blessed her. What happened at the end? Okay, yeah, I agree. He no, 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 no. Don't tell me I agree. Tell me what happened. Yeah, he, he did... Uh... Okay, he why somebody is racist, and... now he decides to share his power. Not This is not about sandwich. This is not about food. This is not about you want to give your children a, uh, some money or a sandwich as we spoke of. This is about God himself questioning the women, why you come into me? You don't believe in me. You don't worship me. You don't, you don't uh, follow me. You are not waiting for me. You are a Canaanite. Your people worship demons and, and uh, uh, idols and you promote sex and you, you have you have zero. Why are you coming to me? So the Messiah here is asking her why I should help you. 
and the women she showed her faith she showed that she have faith in Jesus and you will notice that even Jesus he said to her what he said about the word dog but she is not insulted she understood but you did not did you ask yourself why the women she insists still for help he just as you said he just told her well don't throw the bread of the children to dogs so why the women according to you why the women she insist after what he said keep asking him and even she worshipped him what do you think yeah that's because her daughter is in trouble so what doctor do this is not a doctor this woman she don't have a problem in her uh, 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 headache she don't have a problem in her infection wound wound you know she is speaking about her daughter she is possessed possessed do you know what possessed mean Mm, yeah. What possessed mean? See, in olden times, there was no medical uh, classification as huh. uh, schizophrenia or dementia. So anything that happens, they used to say, oh, this is demon possessed. Okay, I will go with you. You know, by the way, you are the one who have a shepherd's easier because look, you are contradicting yourself. You just said that if somebody have a demon possessed, he have a mental illness. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. How Jesus, he healed the daughter who have mental illness by saying, go, your daughter is healed. How you can do that? So, no, I, I'm fine with that. No, 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 you are not fine. You are, you are not fine because if this is, a, if this is, if, the, if possessed is not possessed, it's just mental illness, then mental illness is mental illness. You, you as an atheist refuse to agree that this is there is a demon. Do you believe in demon? No, right? I, I really don't know because I've not never seen one. So I I, I never say. saw one too. I never met you. I never saw you before. But I'm talking to a demon. He does not know who's he. You are confused. So demon possessed is something we believe in that there is evil spirit. They can possess a human being. And in order to have a power over it, you have to be having power from God. So either you are receiving authority from God, which means from the Messiah, and that's what the disciple used to do, by his name, they can cast demon out. Or the Messiah himself, and now we have the Messiah himself. Did you ask yourself why this woman, even she is coming to him, asking him for such a request? Let us say, for the sake of argument, this woman, the daughter, she have a mental illness. Why this woman, she came to Jesus? What do you think? Because um, I think she must have heard that, you know, there is some person who is healing. Uh, because even today we see, you know, in churches, a lot of people go because someone says, oh, this priest is going to heal. Hmm. So, so uh, she heard, she heard, she heard that this person he have a power of God, he can heal. We agree on that? Do we agree? Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? She heard that this person, his name the Messiah, he have the power of God. He can do what nobody can do, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, your reputation speed you, which means Jesus already he healed a lot of people. Do we agree? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. She is not even from the children of Israel, so this is mean that his, the reputation of Jesus spread wide, spread all around to the point even those who they are not Jews heard of the miracles of the Messiah. So now this woman, she came to the Messiah. She knew that she is not from the Jews. She knew that even they are the enemy of the Jews. They are not just not from the Jews. They are the enemies, literally the enemies. There is long war between them, blood and killing. So yeah, yeah. she is coming to the Messiah asking for help. Why the Messiah should help us? Can you give us any reason? You have an enemy who you have war but, with them. And now this woman, she is coming to me. She don't believe in Elohim. She don't believe in Yahweh. She don't believe in the Messiah. She don't believe in their book. She is just a pagan woman. Why she is coming to me? So why she came to him, you said, because she heard news that, and obviously she believed in it, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when this woman, she insists that she need his help even after what he said, don't you think that this woman, she did not notice that Jesus is racist? 
Yeah, so that, that is where I was coming to. See, I'm fine with, you know, uh, Jesus hailing her. Um, the problem I'm having is why did he wait for her to accept? See, she said, it's okay that, you know, even dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the table. So hmm. only when she accepted that she is a dog, only then he helped her. Exactly. He but this is the case for all of us. If so I ex uh, no, my friend, listen, you don't even understand what Christianity teach. Jesus himself, he washed the feet of his disciples. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Right. Who want to wash the feet of people? Nobody. And this is the one who we worship as God, washing the feet of his disciples. His disciples, they said to him, Lord, we will not let you do that. He said to them, if you don't let me do it, I don't know you. In order to be a master, you have to be a servant. So this woman now, she practiced to be the servant. So the Messiah, he gave her the power of the master. He gave her what she was asking for. So she humbled herself in front of God. Me, myself, as a Christian, if I don't humble myself in front of God, why I deserve the mercy of God? If I am arrogant, if I am proud, if I think I'm good and God is nobody, why God will help me? So in Christianity, it's extremely important that a Christian person, a believer, he humble himself. He knew that he is sinner. The Bible says, that the good man, the good deed of a man is not even like a dirty rag for God. Doesn't matter how much you are proud of yourself. So when she humbled herself, she thought she, she saw that she deserved help. She is not proud, she is not arrogant. Lord, even dogs did get some crumbs. Treat me like one. Very humble. And then the Messiah he said to her. Your faith is a great. Suddenly the Messiah is what? Is giving her glory. He's giving her a compliment, big compliment. Your faith is a great. Why her faith is a great? What she did, can you tell me? Um, so for the sake of her daughter, uh, she was ready to go to any... No, 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 you see? For the sake of your daughter, if you don't have faith. You see, he said to her, your faith is a great. He, he did not say your ethnic is a great. Mm -hmm. He did not change her gender. He did not change her ethnic. He did not change her color. He, what he appreciated from her is her faith. So yeah, her faith is what answer her call. And this is all what Christianity is. But I will go with you. I have, I don't know if you were listening from the beginning when I started, in the same book of Matthew, you mentioned to me Matthew 15, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here the word which is making you upset is the word dog, correct? Yeah, and by the way, uh, CP, I just want to tell you, I I am a born Christian. I don't care uh, if you are, there's nothing called born Christian, you are not. No, 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 this is just for your reference. I, I don't care, my friend. This, there's nothing that's called born Christian except being born Christian after you are born, not when you are born, which means if you are born from a family, they are a Christian. Neither you, neither your family are a Christian unless they are a Christian. There's nothing called, we are not Muslims. There's nothing somebody, his father, is, his name is John, and his mother, her name is a Christina, and now they have a baby, his name is uh, James. This is not Christianity. Christianity is you are born again by faith, not by birth. So you got it wrong. So even this one, you are wrong. But I will go with you now. Listen. I'm just trying to tell I you. I understand you are trying to tell me, but you are trying to tell me something wrong information about yourself. You are not a Christian. You've never been Christian. And maybe your parents never been Christian too. Because obviously they did not good good job to tell you what Jesus is teaching. But listen to me. The word made you upset is the word dog, correct? Okay. Okay. And that make it racist, correct? Okay. Okay. How come when Jesus said the word dogs, to the Jews, that did not upset you? Yeah, I, I saw that part. So now I have to go and uh, study that part also. But no, how, no, 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 hold on. You see, I, I understand you want to study now. I'm asking you why you did not 
see it before. How come you saw? I mean, you did read the book of Matthew, correct? Did you read the book of Matthew? or you, Because you said to me, no, no, I read it. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I it, okay. That as long as you did read it, how come you did not notice the same, in the same book? How come you saw that? You did not see this. Okay, but uh, but CP aren't no 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 my friend my friend you see I'm I'm trying to understand. Tell me don't tell me okay don't tell me. You you know I don't even go and make a program about atheist you know that right? But me you made me so angry yes. because this is not being fair. And if you are a person of education, then you should know that Jesus and the whole Bible actually condemn the Jews. So how the Jews are a higher race than? How many times God, he condemned the Jews? How many times he punished the Jews? How many times he speak against the Jews? And then you come to me and you say, oh, Jesus being racist. So when Jesus called the Jews dogs, he called those who they are hypocrites, sons of Satan's. They are Jews. Not only Jews, they are the rabbis. They are the, the most religious people in the, in the nation. If your father is Abraham, you do the work of Abraham. Okay, I, I, I give you that. Uh, you, you are right in that. But there are other instances where Jesus says... You see, you see, you are being hypocrite again. Because you cannot take other instant or whatever story without connecting all together. Because if you are racist in a place, you are racist all over. Mm -hmm. If I am racist, let us say I'm an Arab, hmm? then I will say, oh, the Arab are the smartest. Wherever I go, this, but I, you cannot say the Arab are the smartest, and then second day you say they are the stupid, most stupid, ignorant. You cannot do that. You can say they are the most clean, and then second day you say they are the most filthy. You are speaking about an ethnic group now, right? Even though Arab is not really an ethnic, Arab is a word meaning desert. Whoever, whoever lives in the desert is an Arab. So you don't understand even what ethnic is. Do you know what ethnic is? Um... I believe it has something to do with people from different countries. How How is that? I'm coming from different country, but I live in USA. Hmm. Hmm. So ethnicity is basically, um, I think, races like um, Asian or... Why you are Asian. saying to me the word Asian? Why you say the Asian? Are you racist? I'm just giving examples. No, no, you see, you're being a racist now. You just mentioned Asian. <laughs> uh, this, this is what your death is they do they they, act, they they play dumb stupid when they want suddenly they use the word black they use the word asian they use the word white and then they are not racist so okay if you are not racist why you have those category so either those category are racism or they are not but if i use them i'm racist if you use them it's okay see <laughs> for me it's okay i'm a human but for jesus are you human are you an atheist or a human I'm human. How you can prove that to me? You're an atheist. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I didn't understand your question. Okay, I will repeat my I understand because you're not a human. So how you can understand a human talking? Listen, you atheist, you claim that you came from an ape. And now you look something different. Like you used to be an, a monkey, chimpanzee. I don't know what you used to be. And now you are Mr. Whatever. How you can call yourself a human? What make you a human? Okay, so I don't believe we came from apes. Wait, where you came from? I don't know. I don't know. So you are an atheist who know everything, but you do not know where you came from. Yeah, because see, you see, the history, I mean, you'll have to go millions of years back. Millions no of one... years. Okay, millions of years. My friend, mm. it doesn't matter if it's a million of years or not. The fish is still a fish, and the monkey is still a monkey, and the donkey is still a donkey. And the Chinese, they say it, he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. So do you think really, if we send you in the jungle and you come back after 10 years, like you, you, we send you as a, now, the way you are, I'm not going to call you names. We send you as you are and you go in the jungle and we give you there for 10 million years, you will come back as Hercules? Um, probably no. 
So what time will do? How time will change you? Time can change you understanding life, uh, have wisdom, uh, have more experience, have, but it's not going to grow tail for you. It's not going to make you uh, out of your species, if we can call you a species. So if you are a fish, you will stay a fish. If okay. all of all those apes, let us say we used to be apes one day. Okay, why we have still monkeys? Okay, we used to be monkeys. So we, all the monkey become a human now. Look like this is endless. Still there's monkeys, still there's donkeys. I think we are sidetracked. So basically my, my question was that if Jesus is God, why why is he using words like dogs? Why not? Uh, you know, actually, actually, the, no, hold on. We use it. This is the language we understand. He's speaking to us in a language we understand. So he put you down so he can take you up. He put you down, like the Bible told, told to us, that we Christians, we should rebuke each other when one of us is doing sin. Rebuke your brother, which means you put him down. You tell him you're wrong, you're being filthy. So this is not because it's a bad treatment. This is part of the therapy, so you can see that you're wrong. This is not an insult. For you, you see it an insult. As you see, this is a, was a very nice end for this woman. She got what she want. She did not go empty-handed. She got what she want. The miracle happened. That is true. So if I come to you now and I have a heart problem and I'm going to die soon and I say, you say to me, you are a, you are a famous doctor. You say, listen, I don't treat dogs, you know. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> you know, I treat uh, Elon Musk, you know, those rich people. Oh, look, look, who are you? You know, what do you have? Look, look at your car, 20 years old, you know. you know. But this, Jesus did not discriminate her because of her money, because of her look, even because she is from where? No, there's only one question. Why? Why I should give my bread to those who don't seek it, those who don't wait for it, those who don't worship me. But the women, she worshipped him. The women, she's very humble. The women, she show how much faith she have in Jesus. In return, Jesus granted her what she is asking for. And this is the, the this is the situation for all Christians. If I don't pray to the Lord, you know, the second I pray to the Lord, what I'm doing, you know? Mm -hmm. What what when I pray, what does that mean? Um, you're basically trying to connect. No. But connect is something, yeah, but there is more than connect. I'm going down in my knee asking Lord for help. What's the difference between calling me dog and acting like one? Help, please, help me. Okay. So you are proud, you don't receive. You think you are higher, you think you are different, you think you are the one who can accomplish things by yourself, why I would help you. You humble yourself. And the Messiah, because he is a unique person, he himself, he humbled himself so he can be the best example for us. This is why he washed the feet. When the Messiah, he was healing somebody, all the Jews don't want to touch him. Oh, this guy, yeah, those people are bad. Don't touch him. The Messiah, he says, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Oh, in that case, in that case, CP, because in Matthew 10, 5, Mm. Jesus says to the disciples, mm. go, don't go to the Gentiles, but go only to the house of Israel. Okay. So actually, actually, the people who are suffering or who don't know God mm. are the Gentiles. So he should tell them, go to the Gentiles. Hey, no, my friend, you are mistaken again. So you see? You no, okay. That. So when I say... Uh, don't go. Is, he, is that a final order? That's it. He's leaving. He's gone. That story is over. No. Today, now, don't go. This is the mission. We came for the children of Israel. Let us see who's going to accept us. Let us gather the disciples, make disciples, so you can go and teach the whole world. So now we go. Now we teach. Now we gather. And then now we are preparing a peaceful army of wise men who will go and preach the gospel for the whole world. So you take, as usual, this is what I notice about you, you take a statement and you forget the rest. Mm 
Isn't it Jesus? He said, I have sheep other than this, which means the Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how come we take this one? We don't take that one. So, so the Messiah, if he is about just the Jews, but this is the normal thing. The Jews are the ones waiting for him. If the Messiah, he go to the Roman, the Roman don't even know what the Messiah, I mean, who is this Messiah? They aren't prepared. They, never, they are not informed. They are not even waiting for the person. The only one is waiting for the person is the one who should receive him is the Jews. When the Messiah came, many received him, many rejected him. And you will notice that those who rejected the Messiah from the Jews, they are rejected from God. That's why we see here that the Messiah, he said, don't give what is holy to the dogs. Speaking of who? Not different race, not different ethnic. So here you notice that the Bible make it clear that those who accept God and God help and seek it and worship and believe, those are the chosen people, which means you choose God, God choose you. You refuse God. Why you why you claim this is racism? You refuse him. Actually, I I I used to be a regular church goer, but when I started reading the stuff, that is when I went away. You are not reading the stuff, my friend. You are reading articles made by people who hate Christianity. No, 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 no not articles. I'm reading the Bible itself. Hmm. And when I read these things, it troubles me because I always feel that for G Jesus, for him, everyone should be his children. Why does he? No, not his... everyone. No, you see? No, no, no. You see? This is the hippie idea. This is a stupid idea. This is a stupid idea. If you are now, if you have children and there's, you get older and now mm -hmm. there's a child or your daughter or your son, one of them, he come every day to your house, take care of you, clean the house, cook for you, etc. And there's a child who never called you ever since you gave birth to him, maybe, maybe since 20 years after. Okay. And then one day you are going to give your wealth. Which one you will give? You will give to that child. All of them are your children. But there's one he never called you. Not when you are sick. Not when you are unhealthy, not, not what you are poor, not when you are cannot walk in. He call you only when he need you. This is what Christianity yeah. teaches us. Those who they deny the father, the father deny them. Which means it's your fruit. It's not his fault. You denied him and then you cry for he deny you. How fair is that? Okay. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever um, deny me, whoever deny deny me, okay. I will deny him. Jesus said. So it's not him who deny you. It's you who deny him. And then you cry and you say, What kind of God, this merciful God, he is not going to take me to heaven just because I'm an atheist? And I find it is that, you know, like you did read the book of Matthew. Did you read the book of Matthew or a verse from Matthew? You said to me, you did read, right? Um, yeah, I'm reading. Uh, okay, by if you go to John, uh, if, if you go to Matthew, the same book you are quoting from, Matthew 10, isn't it Jesus says, whoever denies me before the people, I will deny him also before my father in heaven? Yes. Whoever deny me, not even whoever black or white or uh, uh, Asian, whoever deny me. So who is the one who deny who first? Hmm. I'm asking who is the one who deny first? Yeah, I mean, if you put it that way. No, don't tell yeah. me. Ah, yeah, don't tell me. Yeah. I don't like the word. Yeah, you see, I like an answer. Who is denying who first? Hmm. Yeah, so you are making sense. So that is me denying. Okay, so I deny you and then I curse you for I am denying you. I am the one who reject your help. God, he says, you know, uh, the Messiah says, knock at my door, I will open for you. Come to me, the one who is tired, I will comfort you. He came, he gave himself and the cross, you spit at him, you laugh at him. 
you make fun of him. In your comment now, you are making fun of Jesus. You are insulting him. And yet, still he say, come to me. Knock at my door. So you yourself now is invited. And now if you say, oh, I'm not going to believe in Jesus. What do you do after? You go and make a comment and say, oh, Jesus, he must be here. An evil person. Uh, is, isn't all of us supposedly the children of God? Isn't he supposedly merciful? Isn't he supposedly a nice person? Look, he don't want me. He is going to punish me. He will send me to hell. But no, he will not send you to hell. It's you who send yourself to hell. You rejected him. You refused him. You insulted him. You spat at him. You make fun of him. And then you cry for him is not taking you. Why he shall take you? There's no reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, what, what do you mean? Okay, uh, give me your opinion. I want to hear the smart, the smart you, you know, I want to hear the smart you speaking. Okay, so um, the way I look at it is now, do you as a CP, do you believe in Jesus? Are you serious? I mean, okay, so I assume that is a yes. Oh, no, come on. I mean, you are <laughs> asking. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes I ask God, I mean, God, what you did to me? I mean, do I deserve this? So you are calling me, speaking to Christian prince who make people leave Islam and convert to Christianity. And now we are talking about how Jesus is God. And after 30, 40 minutes speaking to me, you're asking me if I believe in Jesus or what? Okay. So are you question. taking drugs? A wrong question. So. Okay. No, no, no. Listen, listen. This is clear evidence that when you are an atheist, I'm not insulting you, by the way. I'm telling you what I think about you, about atheism and atheist. They are fool. Their brain, they have their own chemical. They are, they have a fantasy. He's speaking to Christian prince and you do not know if a Christian prince is... A, a believer or not, you know, if you see me in the street, I will understand. You do not so, know me. I, I actually didn't finish the question. No, you don't have a question. You have an insult. No, no. Okay. Because, I'm because after all what I say, you are saying to me, do you really believe in Jesus? No, I said that was a wrong question. So I ah, it's a wrong question. Wrong. Okay. Well, sorry, I, I, get, I gave you the wrong insult then. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll give you a different example. Hmm. So if I say that I saw a man fly okay mm. and you say okay i believe in you are you believing in me or are you believing in the man who flew i don't believe in you neither in the man who flew unless okay. hold on you see we don't believe just to believe the word believe in christianity is not just a word you throw like throwing rocks here and there if somebody says to me he fly all the atheists they fly every day they are monkeys, they are hippies, they don't know their, their gender, they are male, they are female, a guy, he put a wig in his head, and he think he's a woman, and he want to go to the bathroom, he, hold, hold on, hold on, let me answer you, you put lipstick in your face, and you think now you are flying, you are really a woman, and you are so sexy, and you love it, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, so, I don't care for this, hold on, but, to believe in something, somebody told me, the Bible teach me, that I have to examine the spirit, because even Satan, he can fly. Even Satan, he can do miracles. Even Satan have power. So for me as a Christian, it's not a matter of belief in a power. It's a matter of belief in what is the power and where it's coming from. So when I believe in the Messiah, not because there is a person he walked in the water or because he healed, those things confirm who is the Messiah, but there is more. The Messiah, the loving, the giving, the wise, the, the amazing person, the one who says, love your enemy. Satan will never say, love your enemy, but Satan have power. He have a strong, very massive power to the point he think he is God. In fact, the Bible says that Satan is the God of this earth. He's a false God. But he have power. So we don't believe in power or superpower. We, we believe in the pure power of the pure God who love and teach love. And this is the purpose of everything. 
love your enemy, bless those who curse you. This is what God is about. So, after all what you said about Jesus, I don't hate you. I pray to the Lord that he will bring you to him and you repent and you accept him again so you can be saved. But I know, I know. Actually, if you, I, if you I, accept the Messiah, my friend, or you don't, it's you who will go to hell, according to my belief, not me. But because of the love of Jesus, I pray to Jesus that he will save you. So, actually, that is what I'm doing. I'm, my, my friend, he's a priest. So, I ask all these questions to him. And because no one can uh, give a satisfactory answer. So, that's why I think I got a chance and I called you. Did I give you uh, satisfying answers? Yes, you did. But I still have... How come your priest did not? Sorry? How come this priest could not? So, instead of giving an answer, he used to send me videos. Watch this video, watch that video. So I okay, my friend, you are not talking truly to a person who knows the Bible very well. Yeah, because, I, I will tell you why. Because uh, there is two things about teaching. It's faith and knowledge, and faith means courage, and faith means God who will use his tongue, your tongue, to speak. So I believe when I speak to you, the Lord is using me. The wise man is a fool. Never trust the foolish of a man, foolish the, the, the wisdom of a man, because the wisdom of a man is a foolishness. The Lord is where wisdom coming from. So when I speak to you, I did not give you my answer, I gave you the answer from Jesus. This is not my answer. So the priest, because he is not really a faithful man, he have no answer for he never listened to Jesus. He never learned about Jesus, yet he called himself a priest. Yeah, even I think so. So my friend, I invite you to repent and accept the Messiah as your Lord because your life can be taken away from you. And yes, the life will be taken from you and me. Don't think this is about race. Everyone will die. But the Messiah said, whoever believe in me and I will live. Whoever, not a black, not a white, not an Asian, whoever believe in me and I, he will live. So I invite you before it's too late. I, 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 I'm still studying CP because I, I have so many other questions. Like, for example, uh, in the Bible, it says that evil spirit comes from God. So when I read that, I was like... That's because, know? okay, you know, I, I'm not insulting you, but let me use the word fool. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. No okay, problem. isn't it us, the believers, we believe everything created by God? Yeah. Okay, who created okay. Who created Satan? No, hold on. Who created Satan? Okay, I, I got it. No, no, you don't get it. Let me explain to you more. But God, when he created Satan, he did not create Satan. He created the angels. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Angel, a fallen angel, he decided to become Satan. So when the Bible speaks about well, all the evil, you see, this is coming, you know, God created the evil Satan. God created the evil, this evil man. God created the evil Joe Biden. God created the evil Democrat. Well, God, he created them. This is true. But God did not create them to be evil. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, what you are doing, you are having a limitation with the with the letters. You know, you don't want to comprehend the book. You want to comprehend only if you or oh, the word evil. That, does it say evil there? Oh God, he do that. But if you think about it a little bit deeply, not shallow. Then you will see there is, there is, oh, now I know what, what it's mean. Well, God, he created Satan, but he did not create Satan. He did not say, hey, Satan, I'm going to create you, and your job from now on, I hire you to go and deceive people. No. You will notice that God, he will unleash the evil spirit on the Jews when they are not listening to him. What does that mean? That means my protection is not with you. I heard you are by yourself, and that's what happened to you now. You have no protection of God. So every evil spirit is chewing in your head. Because you decide to deny him. So you are by your own. I am not by my own. You are alone. I am not. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. So what do you think? You want to repent and accept the Messiah or you want to stay as an atheist? You want to so, be in, you want to be in the zoo? No, I No, I will I I will but I still have a few more chapters to go. Is it is it okay if sometimes I chat with you if I have any I don't questions? chat really. I don't you see I don't talk to atheists because I find them very silly, very stupid. Arrogant, proud for nothing. Um, you know. I hope I not come across as arrogant. No, no, it's not. A, you know, okay. You insulted Jesus. You call him names. You said racist. This is ra this is this is an insult. This is arrogant. You know. How come you did not understand until I spoke to you? Why you don't have a brain? Why you do not know how to read? Why you don't have the ability, the capability? Aren't you human like me? Is my race better than your race? No. But because you decide not to look, look, not to study, not to search, you decide in advance that this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this. I'm going to post it everywhere. Look what Jesus said to this woman. He is bad. Now I feel better. Jesus is bad. I'm good. That's what you are doing. You cast, you cast your guilt on the Messiah. So now we can feel better. Oh, he's, he's, you know, this, this is the Messiah. I took him and I am now good. The same as a fornicator. You know, the fornicator, when they, when you fornicate, you sleep around. Well, everybody's sleeping around. Now, man, that make me feel better. But if only me sleeping around, that make me feel bad. So it's for my benefit if I make everybody in town sleep around, even by false rumors. Not necessarily they are true. Sleeping around. So, hypocrite, Liars, false fiction, false ideas are promoted between atheists and now they believe in them as facts. And now when you speak to an atheist, he doesn't speak about ideas, he speaks about facts. It's a fact in the Bible. Like once I remember an atheist, he spoke to me, he said, you believe in unicorn. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. I said, is unicorn something bad? He said, it's unicorn. <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> he was laughing like a donkey. Then I put a slide in the front of his face. In a second, I have a, like my computer on the stage. And I showed him Mr. Unicorn. And I said to him, are you sure that unicorn does not exist? He said, no. This is an animal we see every day in the Middle East. We call him unicorn, Wahid al Qarn. So, those are stupid people, they think, oh, huh, Christian believe in a unicorn, <laughs> the one we see in the cartoon in Mickey Mouse and in the Japanese cartoon. The Christians are weird, they are stupid. But the fact you're the one is stupid who have no education. We have words we use in the Middle East. This is the name of this animal. Wahid. Ask anyone who speaks Arabic, including Muslims. Wahid al Qarn. Wahid. Wahid mean only one. Qarn mean corn, horn. Oh. Oh, unicorn. You know, you believe, uh, you know. So, because you are looking for something to laugh at, to con you know, to convince yourself that you are smart, then they are stupid. So you throw your stupidity on me, and that make me stupid. But it is your stupidity, not mine. Hmm. So you don't understand the history. You don't understand the background. You don't understand the language. You don't understand anything. But you claim that you are all understanding. And then you go and you teach children stupid things. I, I ask you, my friend, to repent before it's too late. It's up to you. You don't want to believe, don't believe. I mean, this is your business. But I say to you that the Lord one day will come. And then don't cry and say why. And you will be thrown. You see the word dog in the Bible? You will, you will wish to be a dog. 
You will be thrown, not even like a rat, in the hellfire, and you will spend your eternity there. You might be laughing at me now, but time will come, and you will see. And you know what? Me as a believer, mm -hmm. even when death, death come to me, I don't fear death. I will enjoy my life. For I have belief. You have none. Death is scary for you. Death means nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. It's just another step to go better life. So when death is something horrible for you, death is something happy for me. I, I don't find that horrible. It's a part of your natural process. So. No, it's not natural. This is hypocrisy. When you are going to die, you will see. You will be crumbling. Uh, you know, give me medicine. The second you get, you know, you go to the doctor, you kiss his ass to give you medicine. Do something. Help me. That is, that is not correct. Because even Christians go to doctor. No, no, no. You see? No, a, a Christian, they go to doctor, yes. But the real doctor is the Messiah for them. The real doctor, because all doctors, they can maybe give you medicine to fight disease. But the one who will make you live forever is the Messiah. No doctor can do that. When we spoke about this woman, you said her daughter, she had mental illness. You don't believe in mm -hmm. demon. But the Messiah, he did not, did he use medicine? Did he give her drugs? Did he say to her, give it this drug, let her drink it three times a day? Yeah. After 20 days, she will be fine? No. When the blind man, they brought him to him, did uh, Jesus, he says, drink this, eat this? When the man, he cannot walk, he said to him, stand up and carry your bed and walk. Did he give him medicine? So the medicine of the man is temporarily medicine. The medicine of the God of man is for eternity. You will live forever. Thank you, my friend, for calling. And I hope you learned something good for your life. Yeah, thank you, CD.